We have a team of reporters across the area tonight covering today's storm. We begin with WBZ's Beth Germano, who is live in Andover tonight. Beth? Well, we are along Route 93 in Andover. We have definitely seen that change from snow to sleet to potentially freezing rain. Take a look behind me. Traffic that was much heavier just a little while ago has really let up now. An indication, perhaps, that people did try to leave work a little bit early. Maybe the better decision was to wait a little bit, because as with these storms go, Timing is everything. It was a snowy mess that had Route 93 jammed. I think it's tough just because it's the middle of the day, so some people weren't sure whether or not um, you know, to stay home all day or risk commuting home from work. The clogged highway seemed to make that choice clear. Scanners buzzing as state police responded to numerous spinouts and accidents in conditions that quickly deteriorated throughout the afternoon. Possible two cars can be 495 southbound. I wouldn't recommend it if you can avoid it at all costs. Is the timing of this one a little tough? A little bit, I think so, because it just seems like it's going to get worse with commuting and everything. Drivers stopping to get ice off the windshield wipers or leaving work early, dreading what's ahead. It's tough when it comes in the afternoon when you're trying to get home. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I should have better, I should have done better planning myself. Stayed home. There was sloshing that went from snow to slush. Plows on a roll, trying to keep it clear for the afternoon commute. Not good when it's the afternoon commute. Exactly, right. How long will it take you to get to where you're going? Uh... It usually takes 15, 20 minutes, but right now, maybe more than that. So for now, the commute is just wet. We appear to be right at the freezing mark here in Andover. So that concern is the wet will glaze over. Reporting live from Andover, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.